Hi guys, Todd here. Today, today we're going to be looking at the, the Pioneer Insider, uh, which is by BP Mods and obviously manufactured by Dovepo as always. Um, this is, this, this video will be uh, semi kind of live. Normally I do quite a bit of editing on my videos and take out all the chit chat and rambling and then and, and I'm just going to go for it today. Uh, so bear with me and uh, yeah we'll go along with this one. So £55 uh, I think in the UK you can get this from Vapor Bay UK and also Steam Island uh, but on the back we have all your information here, the contents and so on and uh, we'll open this up. I've had this for two weeks I think now I think I've had this for two weeks. Hang on, will I throw my rubbish stuff over there? And inside, uh, usual BP mods kind of affair. You are going to get a card with all the social media contact links and so on there. You will find a little doodah bit telling you, well, telling you what kind of coils you can put in here. Uh, you will get a nice mouth to lung or restricted direct lung from this and quite a loose restricted direct lung depending on which borrow mod you are using, I hasten to add. Uh, underneath there, you're also going to get this. Uh, now, this is a, a breakdown of the device itself, but if you look here, you will see all the writing. It's going to tell you the size of the, the air pins and so on and so forth that you get with this. Listen to have been short, uh, very blunt, for 55 pounds, you get everything. Everything you could need it, it, it is quite impressive. Um, in fact, it's it's really good and it's kind of sickening for somebody that's also bringing a device like this to market. But there you go. Uh, so there's a card, everything on here. Uh, I will pop this over here so I can reference it as we talk along. Uh, inside, you're going to find one borrow tank device with an RBA inside it. Uh, you will find a 510 adapter because obviously you know when you want to pulse your coil and um, before you put your cotton in you'll need this doodah bitty thing here and you'll also need this doodah bitty thing here if you want to use this inside a standard borrow device borrow tank or you want to use it in something like the abyss um, so we'll, but we'll come back to that as we go along. Um, in here in this box you're going to find lots of bits. It's got the pins, all the pins and uh, once again the airflow pins are 1, 1.2, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3 and 3.5 and there's also, I think it comes pre-installed with it if I remember right, uh, a 0 0.8 mil pin as well. But uh, there's all of them there. There's, you get everything. Seriously, you get everything with this. But uh, there's coils and spare peak insulators and spare O-rings and post screws there as well. And there's also, get you out. Oh, come here. There we go. Little like, uh, you know, if you get condensation in the bottom of it, this soaks up the condensation, works really well. Uh, so that's, once again, you get everything you're going to need for this and it covers mouth to lung really, really well and restricted direct lung and what I consider a quite a loose, almost direct lung. Um, so that's that, but let's uh, take these bits out of here, put this to one side and we'll get a close-up look at this. So, um, now, obviously this fits inside a borrow device. Uh, so, for example, if I take a, a Delro here, there we go, there's a Delro, and this is going to fit inside there, like that. Not only will it fit in there, it will fit inside a billet box. Take that out of there. Pop that in there, fits inside a billet box, and if you want, it will also fit inside the box, and there are other billet uh, borrow type devices out there as well, and they all work, <laughs> they just all works. Now, uh, one thing to point out here is that this condensation uh, setup that you have here that sits in the bottom, 
Now this is more designed for a billet box because obviously the billet box is set up in such a way that the air comes from the side. So if you look at a billet box here, that's where your airflow comes from. So the air is coming through there. So when I pop that in there, so that little condensation pad works in there quite the thing. However, if you're going to use this condensation pad here, it will not work in a Dell roll because you know the airflow has to come from the front here on things like the Dell row and possibly the box as well. So I kind of just leave that out. What I will say is that this, this does not suffer from condensation. Um, it's not bad for condensation, so shall we say. Uh, I do get a tiny little bit around the base, but compared with some other devices that I've used over the years, it's actually very, very good and doesn't suffer from it badly at all. So um, you can obviously you fill it through the front here. No problems, it doesn't come pinging off or anything like that. Uh, you can then grab this stainless steel bit at the bottom, pull that and you get the deck out and obviously this stays in place uh, so you just stays in the tank while you're working on your deck. It's a la vape snail type stuff. It's Most of you are used to this, you've seen this kind of thing before. What this also does, and uh, we'll just put this to one side, is that this you can see it's got designed by Bruce um, and we've got, obviously this is front facing, but look at this, this bit pops out like that and this bit pops out like that and you then have an RBA so you can use this in uh, borrow devices you know you can use it in a normal borrow tank however uh, this bit isn't going to work so what you do is and I'm thinking I've over tightened it and then I've just realized no it's reverse threaded, <laughs> it's reverse threaded. This bit comes off, this bit, then goes on like so, and then you can use it in like a, a normal borrow tank. So you don't have to use it in this, you can use it in a normal borrow tank, or you can now use this in an abyss. That's one of the key things, you know. Obviously, when it's it's set up like that inside this tank, you know, you're not going to be able to use it in an abyss. But if you just change over the funnel at the top and take it out of here, you can now use it in an abyss. So it's, yeah, they've covered many, many bases with this thing. Many bases with this thing. But uh, I'm just going to put this back together. And I always get this threading wrong. There we go. And that's us ready to go. Now, uh, putting that to one side, uh, once again, don't forget, when you're putting a build in, you're going to need this doodah here because that will screw on like so, which means you can now put it onto your mod, your build station for when you put your coil in it and you can pulse your build. So I'll put it on here just now. Um, as far as the deck goes, as with all your Pioneer products, you change the pin on the fly. You know, you can change your pin on the fly. You don't have to take your build out or anything like that. It can stay in place and the pin is changed from underneath, which is a big bonus. So I'm going to grab a little, little screwdriver here. I do have one somewhere. Here we go. Uh, and I'm going to undo these post screws. There we go, and undo this one as well. And you can see there, there's your size of your holes, and there's your deck and the serial number. Sorry, that's upside down. And your coil's gonna go across here, and your cotton is gonna go in here and in here. So let's uh, find a coil first of all. We're going to go with, uh, because of the I've got the big pin in, uh, I'm going to go with one of my PC coils and it's a 0.36 ohm single coil. There we go, 3 mil ID. So let's fish that out of there. There she blows. Got my coil. I've bent the legs up a little bit like that. And then I'm just going to pass them through here, like so. 
Uh, this is <laughs> excitingly easy to set up, this thing. It, it really is. Uh, and excuse me while I crack on here. I'm trying to do this in as much of one take as I possibly can. Um, so, got that in, snip my legs off. The only thing I don't like is, this is a, a minor little niggle, is um, see how close that leg is to that peak insulator. Just be kind of, I would worry a bit over time over actually damaging that little insulator there just by, you know, snipping my legs off. So something to possibly watch out for. Uh, but once you're aware of it, it's, you, yeah, the chances of you doing it are, are pretty slim, to be honest. But we'll get that on there and I'm going to, here we go, we're going to pulse this and get the hot spots out of it. You will get, there we go, hot spots out. I need a little bit of juice. I'm going to use some, uh, this is from Juice Cabin. This is the best custard, apparently. Uh, I was sent this and I've been thoroughly enjoying it. So pop that on there, camera down. We'll get a little bit of Cloud9 cotton. How's that for product placement? Do you like that? So much product placement going on in this. It's um, something I tend to avoid, but uh, today, today is a good day for product placement. Right, let's get this on here like so. Pull that through. It's a little bit on the slack side, but we'll, we'll chance it, we'll chance it. Uh, I'm just going to cut this to about here and here. You see where I am there. I'm going to take it down at a, a little bit of an angle just to snip off the side there. Same here. The wells are not huge. Uh, they're not huge. Uh, but you can see here that uh, if I just tilt this, see the juice is going to come through here and you can see the size of the well under there. So it's it's not massive, uh, but um, so you don't need a huge amount of cotton. Obviously, as always, you know, a lot depends on the PGVG ratio and, uh, you know, your, your style of vaping and so on. But, uh, yeah, I find this... I've put a few builds through this now and I find it very, very easy to set up. I haven't had any issues with mouth to lung or restricted direct lung. I just kind of fan the cotton out and it just sits like that. That's about it. Uh, we're then going to grab, um, where did I put my custard? Why did I put the lid back on this? It's been one of those days. It's been one of those days. So, on we go, like so. She's good to go there. I just grabbed that, forgetting that it was probably very, very hot. Uh, I'm going to leave my little 510 adapter on there. And then we're going to put this back into this base. So I want um, that to go like that. There we go. She's on. Uh, I need to put this back in here, like so. There we go. And then this goes back together. You will go back together. Oh yes you will. There we go. Squeeze. And that's it. Really straightforward. Um, this is... I, I, I have so few hang-ups out of the way about this tank. It is, is, is kind of frightening. I love the amount of extras that comes with it. I love the fact that you can use it uh, in a normal borrow tank. Uh, the fact that you can, you know, take it out and use it in an abyss or something like that. You know, there's just, yeah. There we go. Right. Uh, I think for this one, we shall. We'll, we'll go out and then we'll put it in the the box. It's just going to drop in like that. I will need. Uh, a drip tip. Um, <laughs> excuse me, I've got a drip tip here, but it's absolutely covered in lip gunk and I'm really embarrassed. So <laughs> I'm just going to make sure that I've cleaned this up. This is a, an Atmustique um, hybrid drip tip. 
so that should go on there like that. And uh, I'll now find a battery. Battery in, pop this back on, give my button a little push. There we go, she's firing away quite the thing. And we'll slap the door back on here and uh, we'll get ready to go for a vape. And that, that is it for the, the, the Pioneer Insider. Uh, it, it's really, yes. We'll talk about it back up top. So there you go. Um, so I, I hope that worked out right. It was. It should have been one take, kind of. Uh, so this is you, you guys that are into your borrowed devices and and so on and so forth. I'm the same. Um, I mean, I've got you know various borrowed tank devices and so on. But but this thing is it's fifty five pounds and and it does a lot. It comes with all the pins. It does mouth to lung. It's, yeah, they've done a, a very, very sickeningly good job with this. <laughs> it's just, and if you know why I'm saying that, you know why I'm saying that. Um, right now, I've got the, the biggest pin you can get. I've got a wide board drip tip. I've got it on the box. So this is all the air that you'll ever get through this. And it's, <sighs> I'd actually, I'd call that a direct lung. Uh, I really would. And um, the only thing I find is sometimes when I'm doing this direct lung, um, it does get quite saturated in there, and it can. I don't know if you'll hear this. It's, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's turbulent. It is quite turbulent when it's fully open. It's quite noisy. Uh, but it kind of calms down after a little while. Uh, or just put a little bit more cotton in uh, if you find it continues. And, and it calms down and it, it's just really good. When it's fully open, I will say that it does need... It needs a bit of power behind it to get the flavour out of it when it's wide open like that. Um, in fact, that goes right across the board. Even when I'm vaping mouth to lung in this uh, with a 0 0.8, um, it needs a little bit more power than I would normally give for the kind of coils I use. I I'm talking about against other bridges, um, other borrow devices and borrow mods and whatnot. I use the same setups a lot, so I test the same setup against stuff like this. And I do need a little bit more power to get the equivalent vape. I don't know why that is. I honestly don't know why it is. But I find if I do, let's just say I normally do a 0 0.8 at 14 ohms, uh, 14 watts, uh, a 2.5 ID coil, I might vape that, so let's just say 14, 15 watts. Uh, on this, I'm having to crank up a couple of extra watts to get the same kind of flavour. It's the only thing of note that I can I can give you on this one. It, it, it's just it's incredibly good value for the money. Um, and I know you've got the Cubix, uh, which is also very cheap, and you get various bits with it as well. But the the juice capacity, all the rest of it, it's it's a bit of a no brainer. It really is. Um, they've done an ex a, a, a really good job. I hate them. Uh, they've done a really good job with this one. Anyway, um, thank you to Bruce as always for sending this on. Uh, I know that the the old man with the tattoos, what's his face, um, does a really bad Scottish accent from time to time. Mr. Nick Grim Green has put a video out today. This will not go public until tomorrow, probably. Uh, but I would recommend that you go and watch his video. I think Tony B put out a video as well. And I know these have been bouncing about, these devices, but I think worldwide release is going to be over the next week. I'm pretty sure that's hitting the stores fully now, if not already, and you will now be able to buy them. But once again, Vapor Bay UK and Steam Island in the UK do have them in stock as far as I know. Thank you for watching. I shall catch you very, very soon and bye for now.